Hi guys, this is Alex, um, the product manager of Kadi, and this is another tech update. So let's do a quick recap from the last time we spoke. Uh, we update you that we basically moved the Multidoc 2.0 to a uh, development staging environment. And right now I'm happy to announce that we are ne nearing the completion of all the tasks related that will enable us to move it uh, Multidoc 2.0 to the testnet environment. Uh, in order to achieve that, uh, the front-end team is basically finalizing the, all the changes that we introduced into the Viper wallet. And some of those changes, uh, for example, include basically the entire redesign of my addresses screen. As you know, Multidoc 2.0 will enable us to generate and mint new tokens. And basically now your addresses will be able to hold uh, multiple balances and different tokens, right? So we needed to redesign uh, that uh, section of the software uh, also uh, the front-end team is completing all related tasks to the my token screen which is a new screen that will enable you in the testnet environment to generate and mint your own tokens so personally i already have a list of uh, tokens that i'm going to generate and mint and basically we are going to be making history here and all of your tokens that you will be able to generate and mint in the testnet environment will stay there forever right so uh, you know get your list ready um, another update is related to the explore 2.0 new web interface that will offer an improved uh, user experience and will offer a lot of uh, new functionality uh, for example we'll be able to uh, look up those new tokens see related transactions to those new tokens uh, in addition, we redesigned the activities uh, screen in Viper and the new activity screen will basically enable you in a more simple way to understand, for example, if you're a full node operator, you will see that the fees that you collected from uh, transactions that were done uh, on uh, the trust chain is related to transactions or related to uh, token generation or token minting. So we found a, um, a better way in terms of user experience to um, emphasize that information. We also do doing a complete redesign of transaction details to, to make it more um, transparent and clear in terms of what transpired with that particular transactions transaction and now we have different types of transaction right so we only had transfers till now and now we are introducing two new types which is basically generate and mint and we broke our head a lot about what's the right approach here and hopefully you like um, our approach uh, about the government's token. So last time we spoke, I updated that we are basically doing research on how to issue the newly generated government's token that will be able to generate as soon as we launch uh, Multidoc 2.0. Uh, we are working with the business teams and in the technology teams in order to think about different utilities uh, that you will guys have with uh, that uh, generated um, government's token. Uh, so just we are contemplating different solutions, for example, in Treasury that will enable you to basically gain more by holding that uh, newly generated government's token and many other uh, utilities. So that's on the government's token front. Um, I believe in the last tech update, I updated you, updated you guys that I had plans to release the Treasury on the iOS app. So now I'm happy to announce uh, that our uh, mobile team, mobile development team started work on the iOS, um, iOS application and Treasury will be available, I believe in Q3 in the iOS application. So that's uh, big. Um, and I want to give a huge, huge shout out to our development teams that are constantly working and making progress and keeping to our milestones. Uh, we are running a lot of projects simultaneously and we're already discussing uh, the roadmap in Q4 in Codipay Business. So we are really busy here. We are working for you guys. So stay Codipay.